guys, what's going on? Time for another EDC pocket dump. Uh, changed a few things up since last and thought we'd just kind of update things. Uh, Mid-August 2017. So uh, let's start out. Uh, of course, this is not really from my pocket, but you got to have your hat. Got the mesh hat, still hot out here, and this seems to, to be a little bit cooler. Uh, I like to run the mesh hat. And uh, got to have the sunglasses. Of course, I got the clip-ons. And I like that kind of a, a amber color. Just seems to brighten things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's uh, hat and sunglasses. Kind of mandatory out here in, in Arizona. Uh, next, we'll move to keys. Of course, these haven't changed up. Still rocking the, uh, the little uh, Kershaw here on the keychain. Not a bad little... Not a bad little box cutter. I mean, it's not like the sharpest knife in the drawer, but hey, it'll open a box or package. And that's called the Cinder. And uh, they run about 10 bucks. Of course, got my keys. Got my keys to my truck and everything. Oop, got them. So we'll toss them over out of the way. Let's start left rear pocket. Of course, uh, same old wallet. I've still not got a new wallet. And, uh, Pretty much mandatory. Hey, I actually got a little money in there for a change. Mandatory uh, working at the knife counter and stuff. You got to carry some band aids. Don't know how many times a customer has been looking at a knife and they've cut themselves. So uh, I've always been able to provide them a band aid. And I'm rocking the same flashlight. Still got that Bushnell. Uh, it's a nice little light. Twenty bucks. You can see her right there. Tr. KRT150L. It's a 150 lumen. Good bright light. I mean, I just put a fresh battery in her. Got your white, your red, and your blue, which that's blood tracking. You use a little luminox on the blood and it'll it'll show up. So uh, there's that. That's a nice little light. Moving over to my front pocket. Something that's changed up. I'm still running a pocket mag carrier, but you see there? That baby's a good size. And what do we got right there? 45 auto. Hey, cool. We're running a 45 auto. I wonder what that goes to. We'll, we'll see in just a minute. Uh, of course, got my phone. Still rocking the, the Samsung. It's a, a J3, I believe, is the designation on this guy. Got my camo cover on there. It's a good phone. It runs my apps and everything. And I went ahead and uh, picked up a lighter. Actually, I'm, I'm running a, a little lighter. Yeah, it's a good idea. Someone suggested that, so I throw a lighter now in my left front cargo pocket. So there we have everything off of that side. Let's move to the other side. Of course, uh, right rear pocket you got to have your hanky. Not so much for blowing your nose, but uh, I keep my glasses clean with this. It comes in real handy. Sometimes you just need a piece of cloth, and uh, that takes care of that. And now, moving to one of my changes, I broke out the Ganzo uh, 727. This is their Rat 1 copy, and it's not a bad little knife. Uh, I've not used this model a whole lot. Uh, first I really didn't care for it and I think I even said that on one of my reviews on the other channel but it's uh, it's kinda growing on me that that blade shape uh, this is gonna take the place of of my open L this is gonna be my food knife if I need to cut any food or anything so uh, we got that for my food knife and moving to the uh, right front pocket I've got the Ganzo 729 back out. Uh, I don't know if, if you watch my reviews, you've seen this is this is one of the knives that I really like a lot. Uh, I like their 729 series. Of course, this is a copy of the Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. Um, they are running the what they call the G-Lock now. It's not going to be called the uh, Axis Lock like on the, the Benchmades. But yeah, I just I love this knife design. I, I like the hole in the blade. I know that bugs a lot of people, but it makes it really easy to spidey flick. So you can get your blade out quickly. So this is this is my second knife. 
Of course, moving down into the cargo pocket, still rocking the Swiss Army. I, I can't go anywhere without this knife. I gotta have my Swiss Army. Still got the toothpick, baby comes in handy, my corkscrew. I mean, this, this is just, it's awesome. You, you got, you know, your screwdrivers here. They come in handy. Your bottle opener, can opener, little pair of scissors on there. I don't know how many times them have come in real handy. Got to have the Swiss Army knife of some kind. So you need to have one of those. Of course, now for the big reveal. Let's get this off the belt here. And it is hot, coming out of carry. Of course, I'm running the DeSantis Hoster. I think I showed that in one of my last videos. And this is the Smith & Wesson 45 Shield. See right there, 45 caliber. I'm running the six round magazine as my primary with one. And then the seven round is the backup. And we do have the IDOT sights on here. And I like these eye dots. It's nice having front and rear tritium. Makes it a lot easier to line up in low light. So yeah, rocking the eye dots. But uh, yeah, this is my new primary carry right here. Smith & Wesson Shield. Loving this pistol. So uh, that's going to do it real quick for, uh, for my EDC. Just thought I'd throw a new video out there. Let you see what all I'm carrying nowadays. And... Uh, yeah, I know it looks like a lot of gear, but really it's not. If you wear cargo shorts, you know, you can spread these out in your pockets, and, and it's not hard at all to get all this gear in your pockets. So I could probably even carry a little more gear. Probably need to carry more gear. Probably need a uh, some kind of a uh, trauma kit or something with a quick, quick clot bandage and a pressure bandage and a tourniquet. That wouldn't be a bad idea. A little paracord somewhere would probably be a good idea. I may try to incorporate that into my gear later on. Uh, but for now, this is what we're packing here on a daily basis. So uh, like I always tell you guys, either we stand up for our rights or we can sit by and watch them go away. You guys have an awesome day. We'll talk to you later. Catch you on the next video. Tennessee Frank out of here.